Hello, I'm uh, Rick Sanders, aka Willis the Poet, and, uh, and this is my poem in uh, response to my own prompt uh, calling for poems about the Dudley of the future. Oh, nice. It's also dedicated to, uh, to Dave Reeves, um, who partly inspired me to set up my night in the Cafe Grand Slam in, uh, in Dudley after a conversation that we had about uh, the halcyon days of culture in Dudley Town and the fact that at one point in the 1960s, yeah, Dudley had the biggest cabaret outside of that there, London. Mm -hmm. This poem is called Dudley Town. It goes like this. I love Dudley, and I'm getting a bumper sticker declaring it to be so. I heart Dudley on the back of the Astra so that everyone will know. When I tell people that, they look at me like I've got two heads who have run over their cat admitted some sort of fetish for old men's sheds or a love of Christa Burr's lady in red. They call me Yampy. Yampy! But we'll see, won't we? In a few years' time, when the tram turns up, when the money turns up, when the Hippodrome throws open its doors, when the cabaret is back, when the council slash the rates, stop the traffic down the high street so we can walk in the clean air between shops full of stock and there's art in the streets and there's things for the locals to stop and be a part of even if it's just for a few minutes. It was that flamingo that paved the way that day in lockdown when it escaped to enjoy the town with no cars to run it down and even though its flight of fancy was short-lived it lifted black country hearts and we all thought of the parts we would play when the day came and we too could roam free on the streets of Dudley. It's changed a lot since Brum became the place to be. Old school Dudleyites like troglodytes don't like it, but they kind of lump it because it was sorely needed. The new monorail into the city, the new houses on the brownfield Merry Hill, canals that take the freight again. Now diesel's been banned. And lorries are a thing of the past. Cycle paths have replaced main roads. The hover bike, invented by that kid off the Renner, are really a thing of beauty to behold and fueled by plastic waste too. Well, who'd have thought it? The zoo's gone, of course. The wind farm was the only way to make the most of the topography. And they look majestic up there next to the castle. A sort of history slash future mashup. Teddy Gray still lives on and is thriving after it turns out that their herbals really were the cure for everything, coronavirus being the real turning point. The new money brought back the bands, JB's opened up again, and even though they said it couldn't be done, Noel and Liam buried their differences just for the chance to play on hallowed ground. I tell my grandchildren that Dudley used to be a little bit down at heel. And I feel a swell of joy when I tell the youngest boy that it all began at Café Grand, a seismic shift in the landscape that shaped the town, when poets came and artists, philosophers and activists laid claim to turning it all around, when people found that after the internet was closed down and television's demise, after telling all those fake news lies and mobile networks failed, that actually conversation was hailed as the new beginning with gatherings at coffee shops, top of the lists of new ways to explore the thriving hub of humanness. And what's more, get a different perspective on things, where truth rings out across a crowded room as the broom swept out the old and welcomed in the new. So I raise a glass to you, the progressives with a different view, that made the most of what they had and never lost sight of the fact that every day is a new day, no matter what has gone before. And bumper stickers really are the way to show we love you, Dudley Town, forevermore. Cheers. <laughs>